Hi everyone. We're going to be flying down to Austin, Texas today with a quick stop in Monroe, Louisiana. We do like to fly this aircraft as a crew, but occasionally we'll take it out single pilot. That's just what we're going to do today. Come join us. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Hello, anybody home? I like the perishable skill. It's always a good idea to, to hand fly when you can. The advisor the helicopter. Traffic, 12 o'clock, zero miles. Interesting encounter on takeoff. I saw we cleared them, but in my book, it's too close. Winds aloft, they get up uh, towards 100 knots, so everyone is fighting it. I find your lack of faith disturbing. So the Canadians are coming. They're going to pass right over the top of us. On board. Okay, so single pilot operations, we are all set. We have our clearance, we have the ATIS, we have everything plugged into the FMS. We're gonna start number two. So starter engage, N2, oil pressure, fuel flow, ignition, N1 turning, ITT rising. It's a good light off. The number one, starter is engaged. N2, oil pressure, fuel flow, ignition. Engines are started. Engine instruments are checked green. Engine anti-ice is not required. External power is disconnected. Flight controls free and correct. Full left rudder, full right rudder is good. And full shocks. Starting engine checklist is completed. Headset. Check one, two, check one, two, and we're gonna go to ground. And let's see what we're going to do here. Most likely a left turn on Mike and then a left turn on Alpha Runway 32 since the wind is so strong from the northwest today. So parking brake released before taxi checklist is completed. Clear left, center, and right. Greensboro ground, Honda test 5-3 at the factory. Alpha taxi, request Runway 32. Clear left, center, right. Honda test 5-3, going to ground, runway 3-2, taxi via Mike Charlie. Runway 3-2, taxi via Mike Charlie, Honda test 5-3. All right, so back to that navigation. Uh, this is going to be the Tricia 1 RNAV departure from Piedmont Triad International. Lab class 8. No constraints for altitude or speed. Lab class 8, and so we'll expect just a runway heading probably, and then eventually a left turn Wayne or left turn Tricia. Tower, uh, Honda Test 5-3, ready for departure, runway 32. We're clear. Honda Test 5-3, runway 32, cleared for takeoff, fly runway heading. Fly runway heading, runway 32, cleared for takeoff, Honda Test 5-3. We're clear on the left on final approach. This is runway 32 identified and cleared to the right on departure end as well. This will be a gentle rolling takeoff with over 6,500 feet available. We have two good engines. And takeoff power is set. Airspeed is alive. Three times. 80 knots. V1, rotate. We have a positive rate. Gear up. And 130 knots flaps up. And MCT. Honda Test 5 3, contact departure. Good day. Contact departure. Good day. Honda Test 5 3. Greensboro departure, Honda Test 5-3 is 2,009 or 100, climbing 5,000, runway heading. Honda 5-3, Greensboro departure, right of contact, climb maintain 1-2,000. Climb maintain 1-2,000, Honda Test 5-3. I've got a lot to do, so I'm going to put my autopilot on, and let's dial up to 1-2,000. Honda 5-3, clear direct Wayne, resume on navigation. Clear direct Wayne, resume on navigation, Honda Test 5-3. 1-2,000, 6 turn autopilot is engaged, Wayne direct, enter, and nav, nav is engaged. Synchronize the heading bug. Okay, Winston-Salem in sight. Blues Lake in sight. Atlanta Center, good morning. On to test 5-3, 7,200, climbing 1-2,000. On to test 5-3, Atlanta Center, climb and maintain, flight level 230. Climb and maintain, flight level 230, on to test 5-3. I'm going to set this on vertical speed for just a moment at 2,000 feet a minute and just let it calm yeah, down. Yeah, at 1361, Atlanta Center, climb and maintain, flight level 230, delete speed of 
Atlanta Center, good morning. Hot test 5 3, flight level 220, climbing 230. Hot test 5 3, Atlanta Center, climbing maintain, flight level 340. Climbing maintain, flight level 340, on to test 5 3. 340 is set once, twice. Right, so uh, we're en route here, climbing through flight level 250, en route to Monroe, Louisiana, which is uh, our exact trajectory down to Austin, but because we have a 100 knot headwind with all of this high pressure, and it's February, jet stream is pushing against us, and so uh, it limits our range. So I decided to stop in Monroe after about two hours and 30 minutes. We'll uh, take 30 minutes, get some fuel, then we'll jump in for about an hour and five minute flight down to Austin. Let's see what our winds are gonna be doing here. Winds aloft at three nine or zero. You can see in this neck of the woods are 70 knots. And as we get farther down here, they get up uh, towards 100 knots. We'll just keep an eye on those. And if we didn't have a 100-knot headwind, we could have done it nonstop. But uh, wind is an equal opportunity offender, so everyone is fighting it. On the test 5-3, clear That's direct to Monroe. Good. Clear direct Monroe, thank you. On the test 5-3. Well, clear direct destination is always a good thing, so there it is. We're nav, clear left, heading bug is synced. Atlanta Center, good morning. On the test 5-3, flight level 300, climbing 340. On the test 5-3, Atlanta Center, good morning. Climb maintain flight level 350. I maintain flight level 350 on to test 53. 350 set once, twice. So he's giving us an odd altitude. Four five, Charlie Tango, contact. In, but we're in westbound. Center, one, three, so four, generally westbound. Today. We have three, even altitude. So day one, we'll two. see uh, yeah. if he gives us a higher altitude that will go with what we call the hemispheric altitude rules. When we're westbound, we go even numbers like 34,000, 36,000, 38,000. And when we are eastbound, we use odd numbers such as 27, 29, 31. On the test, 5-3 traffic at your 2 to 3 o'clock, about 12 miles southbound. There's a A319 at 380. On the test, 5-3 on TCAS. And it's, it's this character, an Airbus A319, which is Rouge 1778. And this is a uh, carrier out of Canada. So the Canadians are coming. And you can see now they're about 12 miles away. They're currently 4,700 feet above us. Now 4,600 feet above us because we're climbing. And we're going to look over here towards our right. It looks like with this trend vector, they're going to pass right over the top of us. Now, my job is to now make our climb rate Morning, Atlanta, a thousand uh, feet per minute or less. The reason why is because traffic collision avoidance system, if we climb too quickly, both of our airplanes think that we're on target to perhaps be in dangerous proximity to each other. But if I, if I slow that climb rate, then the, uh, the computers analyzing it don't get nervous, and more importantly, neither do the pilots. All right, so above 35,000 feet, single pilot, guess what I get to do? I get to go to the mask. Check, check, check. So, the reason I'm doing this is so that I can, uh, A, be safe, and B, follow the letter of the law that says in single pilot operations, 1,000 feet to go under part 91, which is how we're operating, I will be wearing the mask any time that applies. Now, at this point, you're probably saying, hey, that guy sounds like a really well-known movie character. We've had fun with that in the past. Something like, uh, I find your lack of faith disturbing. So, we're now level at uh, 37,000 feet, flight level 370. I'm going to maintain max continuous thrust, and we're just going to continue up here to accelerate for our, our uh, high-speed cruise. So, at this point, my job is to monitor and try to get a, a large, big-picture view to make sure that the automation is doing its job. Should we have any problems with the crew alerting system, or the CAS, will appear here. And we would just go through with memory items and then step by step in the checklist, which I have here. Our wonderful play, quick reference handbook will allow me to troubleshoot if you on the situation that we have. So our mission today is to fly to Austin, Texas. I'm doing so single pilot, as uh, I'm trained to do, and the aircraft does an outstanding job of providing good situational awareness, and everything is accommodated very well for a single pilot operation. 
We're headed down here to support Volato, uh, an outstanding company that's also the largest operator of Honda Jets on planet Earth. Not only do they provide charter service, but also fractional ownership. Volato cool. offers multiple paths to affordable private jet travel. And they manage the aircraft, so your job is just to call them up and say, hey, we would like to travel from point A to point B, and maybe point C with these people on this date, and that's what they provide for you. Good service. Memphis Center, on to test 5-3, vacating flight level 350, descending flight level 240. Conveniently enough, runway 22 also aligns pretty closely with our flight path, so we'll probably start to get vectors here as we get towards uh, Monroe approach. And uh, get everything squared away. We're going to set up traffic here on the right. And on the left, I'm going to bring up my chart. Whenever I can, I like to use an ILS or an LPV to back up for visual, just in case there's an unexpected cloud or two. Have Having said that, though, I do like to hand fly. And there are times when I have to use a visual or a fly visual approach without any guidance whatsoever. Uh, just to make sure that my, my eyes, my hands, and my feet are still working well together. Flying's a perishable skill. It's always a good idea to, to hand fly when you can. Practice maneuvers when you can, and that's one reason that we do uh, recurrence every year, or every six months, depending on your type of operation. Mississippi! Magnolia State! Memphis Center, good morning. Honda Test 5-3, flight will 2-9 or 9 or descending 2-4-0. Well, did I get the frequency right? Memphis Center on to test 5-3, flight level 2 or 5 to sitting 2 4 zero. And Center on to test 5-3 again, uh, no joy on 33-5. And let's do 3-2-5, 32-5, Honda test 5-3. Uh, 32-5, my mistake, thank you sir, Honda test 5-3. And uh, Honda test 53 cross 35 miles northeast of Monroe Airport at maintain 13000, Monroe altimeter 3025. 35 miles northeast of Monroe Airport at 1-3000 on a test by 3. Okay, so a moment ago, I received what I thought was the correct frequency from Memphis Center, handing me off to the next sector. So I went to there, and I called, and I waited about uh, 20 seconds, called a second time, and waited again. And when there was no response, I thought, there's a chance I might have made a mistake here. So I went back to the previous frequency. I was still within range, and asked the uh, gentleman there for the correct frequency. He said, actually, it's not... 33.5, it's 132.5, so it's always a good idea, though, to go back and double-check the source. Good key component for a safe flying. Hello, anybody home? All right, we are now on the other side of the Mississippi River. So welcome to Louisiana Airspace. Option, radar My target here is just to maintain a continuous rate of descent to hit the final approach fix at 1,700 feet, which will be on a three-degree glide slope. We do have the field in sight. And let's see who's in the neighborhood. We have someone right below us. On jet 5-3, proceed direct by you, vector visual approach runway 2 Okay, direct by you for the visual 2-2, and we have the field in sight on test 5-3. On jet 5-3, roger, cleared uh, visual approach runway 2 Clear visual approach 2 thank you, on to test 5-3. Monroe Tower, good morning, on to test 5-3, visual 2-2. On jet 5-3, Monroe Tower, wind calm, runway 2-2, clear to land. Runway 22, clear to land, on to test 5-3. Turn that on as a reminder. We are cleared to land. Again, looking out for TCAS, any other traffic. Everybody is responsible to be safe. We are on the chart. Three green flaps landing, we are cleared to land. Autopilot is off, yaw damper to go. A little bit fast correcting, bleeding off that extra speed, and correcting for that glide slope. All right, Pappy's coming into sight, 1,000 foot markers in sight. Recently paved runway, looks good, it is clear. Ground on to test 53 vacating runway 22 at Golf to uh, Delta to F flight. Jet 53 Munner ground, taxi to F flight via Delta Golf. Taxi F flight via Delta Golf on to test 53. And we have another Honda jet joining us today. All right. We cannot fly until the weight of the paperwork equals the weight of the airplane. Always paperwork. 
Okay, so we've got our flight plan filed. We're going to go pick up that clearance, get ourselves some ATIS, be on our way. And this will allow us to get that squared away. Get this in the system a little bit later. Take care. Thanks. Radio check one two one two, and we have that set. We're cleared as filed. Cast messages are as expected. Electrical volts are 23.5, and we're going to start number two. Clear right. That's a good start. Pin stays on the thrust lever just in case. We have a sneaky sim instructor behind us. Clear left. We're going to start number one. Starter is engaged. N2, oil pressure. Parking brake is released. Clear left, center, and right. And we're good. And we're going to go out to the left. All clear on the left. He's got us there. And Appreciate I'm your help, sir. Looking good. Four on three, two. Monroe ground, Honda test 5-3 at F flight, X-ray taxi. Honda test 5-3, Monroe ground, runway 22, taxi via Golf Charlie, cross runway 14, Charlie. Runway 22, taxi via Golf Charlie. We're going to cross runway 14 at Charlie, Honda test 5-3. Clear left high and low, clear right high and low, crossing 1432, we're clear to cross. Monroe tower. Honda Test 5-3, ready for departure, runway 22. Honda Test 5-3, Monroe Tower, wind 210 at 3, fly runway heading, runway 22, clear for takeoff. Fly runway heading, runway 22, clear for takeoff, Honda Test 5-3. Okay, we're cleared for takeoff, and two good engines. Takeoff power is set. Airspeed is alive, once, twice, three times. 80. One, rotate. The advisor's a helicopter. And on to test five three, we've got the helicopter in sight. We should be able to climb above them. Positive rate gear up. On to test five three, Roger. 130 knots flaps up, MCT. That was interesting. Traffic, 12 o'clock, low, zero miles. Departure on to test five three. On to test five three, minor approach. Uh, yes, sir. Just had a very interesting situation there, departing the airport with a helicopter. I uh, want to make sure that uh, I did everything correctly. Uh, can I find the main contact information in the AFD? Okay, copied, and I've got a note of the time here. And uh, again, I just want to make sure I understood uh, everything that was happening there. A little bit unusual, and I think it would be a good learn learning opportunity for me. So we just had a really... Interesting encounter with a helicopter on takeoff. We're taking off on runway 22, which is towards the southwest, heading of about 220. And at 80 knots, everything is good. And at V1, rotate. And I'm looking down the runway. And to the right of the runway, there's an air, a helicopter hover taxi, which is normal. 330 climbing 340. And they usually will hover taxi down taxiways, and that's fine. But this aircraft is starting to drift. I'm like, if that trend continues, they're going to be passing over the runway after I've been cleared for takeoff. And I can see that I'm going to clear them. I don't want to do a hard left or right because I don't know if other aircraft are out there in the traffic pattern. So I just kept climbing at about uh, V2 plus 10 to V2 plus 20 and got over them. I saw we cleared them by about 300 feet, which in my book is too close, especially in a runway environment. But regardless, my number one focus now is to fly the airplane, and I'll worry about that incident later. Nevertheless, I know who to call and what time it happened, and hopefully I can find out what happened. But it's always a good day to learn, and you're never too old to learn. So today I think I'm going to learn something. 20 minutes to top of descent, 29 minutes to the fix, 53 minutes to the destination. The next fixed is weed. I hope we don't have a uh, surprise year analysis after this. Bad joke. Delete that. <laughs> uh, one th other thing I'll do is make sure I brief the arrival, which I've done. I will uh, listen to ATC, and if I can pick out any aircraft that are uh, 20 to 50 to 100 miles downrange, and they're going to where I'm going, they're blazing the trail for me. So I'm listening to what ATC is telling them, and I'm thinking I might be able to expect the same thing. My goal in life is to be able to see the future. If I can see the future, I know that I've got good situational awareness. And then systems, we'll continue to check our systems here, which I like to do. Ice protection is all green. Temperatures are good. Valves are good. Our hydraulics, quantities, accumulators, pressures are good. Fuel is good. 
Houston approach, Honda test 53 is 14,100, descending via the Willie 3 with a limitation of 270 knots. At Willie, we have X-ray. Honda test 53, Austin approach, thank you, Spectra, and 1 8 left. 1 8 left. Austin, Houston, all sounds the same, right? All right, so 1 8 left is uh, 150 feet wide, right? And then we're going to get off there and go all the way down via I mean, either Kilo or Bravo, zero, three, Alpha, zero. Bravo, all the way down towards um, the FBO there, Billionaire. I Shav is next. All right, we've got the greater Austin area coming up here. Delta 10, Starting to see the downtown. Departure. Austin approach, Honda Test 53, 7,700, descending via the Willie 3 with X ray. Okay, we've got the airport in sight. I can see the airport, but they're going to send us out here north of town and then turn us back into the airport. But there's the airport here at 11 o'clock. Honda Test 53, turn listening 250. 250 and field in sight, Honda Test 53. Honda Test 53, you're on an Airbus 319, three mile final, off your left and four miles. Looking for traffic on Test 53. Honda Test 53, maintain 180 knots or greater as long as practical, have jets to follow you. 180 knots or greater as long as practical, Honda Test 53, and that other traffic on the TCAS. Honda Test 53, they're out the window at 10 o'clock and 4 miles. There's a hawker on the parallel runway. You're following the Airbus 319 on a 2 mile final for your runway. Yes, sir, got the uh, Airbus on the uh, TCAS. Thank you. We're following them. Honda Test 53, I need to know if you have them out the window. The TCAS does not help me. Okay, uh, traffic in sight, Honda Test 53. Honda Test 53, Clippage Approach, runway 18 left. Caution wake turbulence, follow the preceding Airbus. Contact tower 121.0. We are clear for the visual 18 left, and we are going to uh, follow the uh, Airbus. We're number two, contacting tower. Austin Tower on test 53, visual 18 left. On 53, Austin Tower, runway 18 left, clear to land, caution wake turbulence, landing Airbus, short final. Okay, clear to land, 18 left, number two behind the Airbus, on the test 53. And three green, flaps landing, we are clear to land. Airspeed coming back to ref, and autopilot, you ought to have to go. A bit of wind there with that interstate, fun. Minimums, minimums. Check minimums, visual, stabilized landing. On the 53 Austin Ground, taxi to Millionaire via Alpha and hold short of taxiway Kilo. Taxi Millionaire via Alpha, hold short of Kilo on test 53. Okay, after that landing checklist, we can turn these cabin signs off, engine anti ice is off, speed brake is retracted, flaps are up. Another Honda jet. Oh, that's Bravo Sierra. I did the delivery uh, there right before Christmas. It was a really uh, neat paint job. Texas A&M, Texas A&M King Air. Beautiful FBO, Billionaire, Austin. I love it. Two taxi, we got uh, X-ray. Beautiful FBO. All right, on block at 3-9. Hi there. Welcome to Austin. So we made it here in time after our quick stop in uh, Monroe, Louisiana. And looking forward to tonight's Mulatto event and get to introduce some more people to my favorite airplane. Let's go get a nice cup of coffee and a cookie in the FBO. Thanks for coming along with us today. If you like this content, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave some comments. That lets us tell the people upstairs that we should do more things like this. Also check out the other videos we have to offer. We'll see you on the next flight.